Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, this is the final assignment of this course, Introduction to Machine Learning. So I want to thank each and everyone who have been part of this beautiful journey from week 1 to week 12 for this season. So we tried our best to give you the accurate solutions guys. So if you got benefited through our channel in any way, please keep subscribe this forever guys. And please like the video and please share that with your friends and classmates so that they will also be able to access our videos. So let's see the solutions for week, week 12 and final assignment of this course guys. So for the past 5 years we have been giving solutions you know that right. So let's see the first question. So please watch the video till the end guys. So for first question statement 1 empirical error is always greater than generalization error and statement 2 they have given training data and test data have different underlying true distributions so choose the correct option so for the first question so the probable answer that i have got is second option guys statement one is true and statement true is uh, two is also true but the statement two is not the correct reason for statement one so mark second option as the probable solution for first question so guys uh, we tried our best to give you the best solutions so if there are any changes to be made and if i get if i notify anything later then i will definitely update that change in the comment section guys and if you feel there should be any change also you can please give your opinion about the correct answers that you think from your point of view positively in the comment section so we will try to sort it out so please watch the video till the end guys so second question now let p of a i equals 2 power minus i calculate the upper bound for this one using union bound so you have to give your answer rounded to three up to three decimal places right so when i did this for second question i have got the answer as third option guys 0 0.969 0 0.969 so mark option 3 as probable solution for second question now moving on to the third one third question which of the following is or are the shortcomings of td learning that q learning resolves so for the third question i have got two probable solutions guys the first one is the first option itself td learning cannot provide values for state action pairs limiting the ability to extract an optimal policy directly and next it should be fourth option td learning often suffers from high variance in value estimation leading to unstable learning so mark first and fourth options as the probable solutions for third question next moving on to the fourth question guys so before getting into this fourth question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs so these are completely the previous year's questions guys exam preparation mcqs we have collected for machine learning so with five years of NPT experience we have did this guys so here you will get a huge number of 600 mcqs guys 600 mcqs for just 500 rupees only so 600 mcqs for just 500 rupees only guys so the access will be given up for up to five members guys one one if one person purchase with five uh, five hundred rupees up to five members can use that including that person so the validity will be till the exam day even uh, we can extend at that up to the results day so such option is also provided guys such a such option will also be provided and it is also easy to revise and explanations also given for many of the questions guys so this is the mail id if you want to purchase then mail me to this email id guys bk179417 at the red gmail.com so this is the mail id if you want to purchase then mail me guys i'll give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section already many students have taken guys and also started preparing bk179417 at the red gmail.com So this is the mail id guys bk179417 at the gmail.com so already many students have taken and started preparing also guys so 600 mcqs guys no other channel is providing 
these MCQs, only our channel is doing that 600 MCQs for just 500 rupees only. Up to five members can use that same. So mail me guys if you want to purchase. So please mail me only if you are confirmed to make the payment because many students are waiting for us. So we have to give them priority as first come in the first come and first serve order. So if you are only confirmed then only mail me guys so that we can keep you in the list of order to provide the access. So access will be provided within 5 minutes of payment guys. So please mail me as fast as possible so that you can get the MCQs very fast within the 5 minutes of payment and try to do that during the morning guys I mean in the day because it will be more easy to provide you within the specified specified time so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions fourth question given 100 hypothesis functions each trained with 10 power 6 samples what is the lower bound on the probability that there does not exist a hypothesis function with error greater than 0 0.1 so for fourth question the probable solution is first option 1 minus 200 e power minus 2 into 10 power 4 so for first uh, fourth question the probable solution is first option guys next fifth one guys the vc dimension of a pair of squares is what so for fifth question the answer should be first option that is 3 guys the vc dimension of a pair of squares is 3 next sixth one So sixth question, what is V of x4 after one application of the given formula? So this is the given formula. So what is V of x4? So for sixth question, I have got the answer as option, second option guys, 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Next, seventh question. What is V of x1 after one application of given formula? So for 7th question I have got the answer as 4th option that is 0 guys. Next 8th question. 8th one. What is V of X1 after V converges? So I think it should be once again 4th option 0 guys. And next 9th one. So for 9th question I have got only one option guys that is third option so this is the one next tenth and final question of the assignment so in games like chess or ludo the transition function is known to us so finally they are asking assume that there exists a method to do each option so the question is which of these could we do to overcome this so before getting to know about this solution i want to once again make you remember guys so for the course machine learning we have prepared the exam preparation MCQ. So we have collected these guys. These are the previous year questions. So for uh, up to five members access will be given. So here you will get a huge number of 600 MCQs guys. 600 MCQs for just 500 rupees only. So up to five members can use that same MCQs if one member purchases with 500 rupees guys. So such option is also available guys it is easy to revise and explanation is also provided for many of the questions so this is the mail id guys bk179 417 at the gmail.com already many students have taken our pack and already started preparing guys so take it now itself so we have come to an end to our course so do it now guys so that you can save more time at the end so b b discuss this with your friends and then message me guys so remember only if you are confirmed to make the payment then mail me guys because we are uh, selecting the students based on the priority order so whoever messages us first we have to give them priority because they are waiting for us so if you are confirmed to make payment then only mail me guys so i will tell the procedure to make the payment there so this is the mail id you have to mail me if you want to purchase if you want to purchase guys so i'll give the same email id in the description box as well so now let's get back to the last solution so for 10th and final question i have got two probable solutions guys the first one is first option directly learn the policy and next one is second option itself learn a different function which stores value for state action pairs instead of only state like v does so these two are the probable solutions for 10th and final question
so friends these are the solutions for week 12 assignment and final assignment of this course introduction to machine learning so hope this video helpful for you guys and our channel also helpful for you during this period so if if you feel this same please subscribe to our channel forever guys and please like this video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this three uh, 600 mcqs pdf package it will be very much helpful for you in the preparation for the final exam 600 mcqs you are getting for just 500 rupees only guys so this is the mail id you want if you want to purchase then only mail me guys so this is the mail id so this is a restricted google drive pdf link you will get that guys so up to five members can use that so guys all the best for your final exam do well guys don't get tensed so please think calmly then you'll get all the topics you can be able to uh, answer the questions so what you have read the concepts will also be able to remember if you do it calmly guys so don't get tensed so give the exam well guys so you'll get good marks and with our pack you can prepare for the final exam guys so that's it guys for this video all once again all the best for your final exam so do well guys so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you bye bye